Okay, so we've got another solve question here. This time we've got our unknown, so the thing we're trying to find out, in this case A, we've got A on both sides of the equation. So we don't want A on both sides of the equation. So the first step when we're doing, when we're solving with A on both sides or B or whatever, it, whatever we're trying to find on both sides of the equation is we're going to get rid of the smallest one. So we've got 2a and we've got 5a, so the smallest one is 2a. So I want to get rid of the 2a. So I'm going to do that by taking 2a away from both sides of the equation. So the left side, I'm going to take away 2a, and the right side, I'm going to take away 2a. So on the left now, 2a minus 2a is cancelled out, so I've got 27. And on the right side, I've got... 5a minus 2a, 5a's take away 2a's, that's 3a's, and I've still got this plus 9. Okay, so that's simplified our equation, we have to keep going, simplifying it again. So we've got a is what we want to find out, that's what we want to find out. We want to get rid of this plus 9 now, so I'm going to take 9 away from both sides of the equation. Remember I can take it away from both sides of the equation, and that keeps the equation balanced as long as I do the same thing to both sides. So 27 minus 9, that's 18. And these cancel out, so I've just got 3a left. 3a's are 18, so if I divide by 3, I'll get 1a, and that's 18 divided by 3, which is 6. So a is equal to 6. Okay, here's another example. So the first step, we're going to get rid of the smallest, in this case, b. So I've got 8b and I've got 4b. The smallest one is 4b. So I'm going to take that one off. If I did it the other way around, I'd get a negative. So I, I want to avoid that if possible. That's why I take away the smallest one. So I've got 8b take away 4b, and that's 4b. Still got this minus 3 there. The 4b minus 4b on the right side cancelled out. And this is equal to 13. I want to get b by itself, so I want to get rid of this minus 3. I'm going to plus 3 to both sides of the equation. So on the left, I've got 4b. And on the right, I've got 16. I've got 4b equals 16. I'm going to divide by 4 to find out what 1b is. And b is 4. OK, another example. Um, 6c here, 4c here, the smallest one is 4c. So I want to take away 4c from both sides of the equation, from the left side and the right side. So 2c, oops, <laughs> 6c minus 4c is 2c. And the 4c is cancel, plus 4c minus 4c is nothing. I've got 2 left here. I want to get the C by itself, so I want to take away this 18 from both sides of the equation again. So on the left, I've got 2C left, and 2 take away 18 is going to be a negative 16. And then 2C is negative 16. I need to half it to get 1C, so half both sides, and half of negative 16 is negative 8. So that's Okay, in this example we've got brackets, so we have to we have to know how to expand brackets firstly, and then once we've expanded them, we're going to follow the same steps as before. So to expand brackets, we multiply the term on the outside by both the terms inside. So you know, times them out and times them out. So three times two d, that's six d. Three times negative one, negative three. Four times d, four d. And 4 times negative 2 is negative 8. So now we've got the same sort of equation that we had previously. So the step again, we're going to get rid of the smallest d. And in this case, it's 4d. So take 4d from both sides of the equation. 6d take away 4d, 2d. Still got this minus 3 on the left. They've cancelled out. We've got minus 8, negative 8 on the, on the right. We have d by itself, so I'm going to get rid of this minus 3 now, and that'd be plus 3 to get rid of that. So 2d left over here, minus 8, 
plus 3, that's minus 5 and negative 5. And so 2D is negative 5. We need to half both sides of the equation. That will get us D by itself. And here we've got minus 5 over 2. Or we could write that as minus 2.5. Either of those are fine. They're the correct answer. Okay, here's some questions for you to try. Pause the video, give them a go, and I'll put the answer up after. Okay, so the first one. So we would have taken away 2a from both sides. And that would have left us with minus 9 equals 2a plus 5. Then want to take away this 5, minus 5 from both sides, which leaves us with minus 14 equals 2a, half both sides, so a is equal to a negative 7, minus 7. Okay, minus 4b, minus 4b, get rid of the smallest b, so I've got 11 is 3b, minus 31. I want b by itself, so I'm going to get the 31, so plus 31 to both sides. That leaves us with, I'll go to the side again, 3b on the right, and I've got 11 plus 31, that's 42. Then I'm going to divide by 3. So b is equal to 14. Okay, here the smallest c is, well, it's a minus 3c we've got here, so that's smaller than positive 5, so we're going to plus 3c to get rid of that. So now I've got 8c minus 1 equals 23. I want c by itself, so I'm going to plus this 1. That leaves me with 8c equals 24. Then I'm going to divide by 8. C is 3. Okay, and finally, I've got a positive 3C and a negative 3C. So the smaller one is negative, the negative one. So we're going to plus 3C to both sides of the equation. 6C minus 8 is 1. I'm going to plus the 8 to leave me with 6C is 3. 9, and then divide by 6, divide both sides of the equation by 6, 9 over 6, that simplifies, they're both in the 3 times table, so 9 is 3 threes, 6 is 2 threes, so I've got 3 over 2, or I could write that as 1.5, either one's fine.